Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, Book of 2 Samuel, Chapter 24. Let's get started now. The Book of 2 Samuel, Chapter 24 is the final chapter in the book, and it recounts the last days of King David's reign. The chapter begins with an account of how David's pride led him to order a census of his military strength, which was viewed as a sin against God. The story then follows the consequences of his actions, including a pestilence that swept across the land and caused the death of thousands of people. David's Pride and the Census The chapter begins with the statement that God was angry with the people of Israel, which led him to incite David to take a census of the people. This may seem like a harmless activity, but in ancient times a census was seen as a way to count the number of available soldiers in case of war. By taking a census of the people, David was essentially boasting of his military strength and putting his faith in his army instead of God. Joab, the commander of David's army, initially tried to dissuade him from taking the census, warning him of the potential consequences. However, David persisted and ordered Joab to carry out the census. Consequences of David's sin After the census was completed, David was struck with remorse for his sin. He confessed his wrongdoing to God and begged for forgiveness. In response, God gave David three options for punishment, seven years of famine, three months of military defeat, or three days of pestilence. David chose the pestilence, believing it would be better to fall into the hands of God than those of his enemies. The pestilence began immediately and killed 70,000 people across Israel. David's repentance and God's mercy as the pestilence raged on, David became increasingly distressed and begged God to end the punishment. God commanded David to build an altar and make a sacrifice to him. David did as he was instructed, and God responded by stopping the pestilence. At the end of the chapter, David acknowledged his wrongdoing and expressed gratitude for God's mercy. He purchased the land where he built the altar and offered sacrifices to God, which ended the plague. The chapter concludes with the statement that David ruled Israel for 40 years and was succeeded by his son Solomon. The story of David's census and subsequent punishment serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride and putting one's faith in material possessions. David's desire to count his military strength was a manifestation of his pride, which led to sin and the death of thousands of people. The story also highlights the importance of repentance and seeking forgiveness. Despite his sin, David ultimately turned to God and asked for forgiveness. God showed mercy and responded to David's repentance, ending the pestilence, and sparing the rest of Israel from destruction. Furthermore, the story emphasizes the importance of obedience to God's commands. Joab, David's commander, initially tried to dissuade him from taking the census because he recognized it was against God's will. However, David persisted in his desire to count his military strength, which ultimately led to his downfall. In conclusion, the story of 2 Samuel chapter 24 serves as a powerful reminder of the dangers of pride, the importance of seeking forgiveness and repentance, and the need to follow God's commands. It is a testament to God's mercy and the consequences of sin, but also shows that through faith and obedience, we can find redemption and grace. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.